Hey, what's up guys? So welcome here in Holland at Henrik Nordesport, my team from your NASCAR. So I'm Liam Hazeman, 2022 your NASCAR 2 champion. Over the moon for Liam Hazemans once the uh, dust has settled on this race today at Grobnik. Up onto the roof goes Liam Hazemans. And are you excited to see my new teammate for this year? Then come along. So some little facts about my new teammate. So it's quite funny because he has the same uh, flag as myself, almost the same. We had a few nice battles last year, for example, in Zolder, also in Most. So here we are. So, what's up, mate? Come to get us. Yeah, definitely. So have you already any idea of who it could be? And they are out, they accelerate away, and it's Gil Linster who's got the good start there. He is going to lead into the first corner. You did a phenomenal job. Nice yeah. Test, yeah. Uh, you even got me excited to know. <laughs> ah, you see? Everybody is excited. So as you can see, so it's Gil. So Gil, introduce yourself, Gil. I'm Gil Linster, you know me already from your NASCAR. It's my fourth year now. And now I'm sitting in a 50 car with uh, Liam together. We had nice battles last year, and uh, I'm super, super happy to, to join Hendrix now. And this season we will go all in. All in, flat out. So yeah, <laughs> keep us, keep everybody excited. <laughs> yeah, so okay, so as you could see, so this year, so Gil is my new teammate. But keep posted guys, because this year there's gonna be lots of content we're gonna create with Gil. So lots of exciting stuff to see. So yeah, just keep posted for this year. Now we go over, we do a little uh, interview to know each other a little better. We know each other actually like already really good. Yeah, it's but actually the good. best good part. <laughs> yeah, it's the best part. <laughs> When did Jill start racing in karts? Like really when I start like professional go-karting, not the rental go-karts, is this year. Yeah, I just had my first professional go-kart race this year. And how about you, Liam? Well, so me, I started in 2017, because first I did a lot of tennis, because I hated karting in the beginning, but then I started really actually quite uh, late, and yeah, so I did it for four years, five years, and then jumped into race cars. All right, well, Speaking of race cars, when did you guys ever start first start auto racing? Uh, when I was 15, um, I was autocross, like uh, with a VW uh, Polo. So yeah, it was, was my start into, into the racing. And how about you? So me, I'm really an old veteran, as everybody knows. So I started last year, so first every year, so uh, yeah, it was really good. From the track onto the normal street, what was your first normal car on public um, roads? Ford Fiesta. ST, I have to say, with special brakes. <laughs> yeah. And how about you? What did you start driving on the roads with? So, <laughs> so me, I had, uh, well, actually, I still don't have my own car. I came with my mom's car that I use because I only have my driving license since three months or something. So, uh, yeah, I still drive with the car of my mom. <laughs> okay, switching up the order a little bit. Liam, what is your favorite snack to watch during NASCAR? Favorite snack is foie. I would say yeah, big ice cream cookie dough from whatever uh, company it is. Just yeah, cookie dough ice cream. That's the best by far. Okay, and you? Any healthier options? Yeah, much healthier. I go with the chicken wings. <laughs> <I think. laughs> it's just a coat to eat ice cream. Big from KFC. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Which one of you speaks more languages? Whoa, actually, I'm, I don't know how much languages do you like me really? speak, like, not like me for Chinese. No, oh, it's not that you really, that people understand. Me, like, honestly, no, to be honest, I speak, I, okay, let's say three languages, like, I speak French, Dutch, English, and, yeah, like, for example, I can understand a bit of uh, German, but cannot have, like, a fluent, uh, fluent, yeah. fluent speaking of it, so. Everyone, one, Language more, Luxembourgish. Yeah, yeah. that's what people say. Yeah, that's not a language. Yeah, we have our own language. Yeah, it's, language. it's like a mix of like four different languages. It's like <laughs> French, Dutch, <Deutsch>, everything. <laughs> yeah, secret language. Secret language. <laughs> so, so who do you think is going to give the engineers the better feedback? Success versus experience. Whew. Yeah, well, that actually. Well, I think we can both like really help uh, each other. I'm really because. Yeah. Gil is like more experienced than me, like in the race car. So also, for example, we did the first test in Zolder, and you really see like when he gets out of the car, he 
as like a bit more feedback feedback than myself. So yeah, and otherwise I think we can really help each other out like with his experience and then me also for maybe the, the maybe speed the speed or yeah, the speed. Speed details it's different. Yeah. Okay. So this is a question about the other. Jill, what do you think is Liam's favorite track? Good question. I want to say most of you were very, very good at most of the <laughs> <laughs> uh, There was nothing like, even Valencia, you were like super strong, and Soul Light's like your home track. No, I, I, I think it's Soul Light, actually. I'm not sure at all. So you see that he's really my best buddy because actually it's Brad's Hatch. Okay. <laughs> 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 No, but actually, so yeah, no, but you said it, for example, most actually, okay, it was just an awesome weekend for me last year. I crashed into my teammate at the most pressure of the year, I think, but okay. But uh, no, otherwise, yeah, most I like a lot because it's a really fast track, and otherwise, Brand Stage, like, it's so much, it's a bit like a roller coaster track, right? Brand Stage, yeah. you're going like, uh, you're coming like full speed into the first corner, going flat out to totally down, so yeah. No. You feel like really the compression. I remember yeah. like Brad Satch drove, I was just behind him and then he just like turned turn one, he's like a super crazy turn, then we're coming into turn two and he just took like the outside line and say he will never make it. And then I was like, you will <laughs> like four people on the outside line just say, okay, he knows really what he's what he's doing. Yeah, that was quite a nice move. <laughs> <laughs> so Liam, what do you think is Jill's favorite track? Jill's favorite track? I would have said Brent's Hatch because yeah. I think that's like, uh, let's say, the most, how do you say it, like it's a uh, uh, strange track I want to say because it's such like a roller coaster. And otherwise, maybe Valenunga, you like it, it's possible, I don't know. Like Valenunga or, yeah, well, just name three others and you know the whole thing. Yeah. Like, <laughs> <laughs> the whole thing, yeah. yeah. No, but I think, yeah, like maybe Valenunga or Grand Okay, well, there were only really two tracks where I really crashed, so um, <laughs> I like Solda a lot. It's something that I really like. But for the event, it's Brad Hatch for sure. I think it's the best, the, the best event in Europe as well. It's Brad Hatch. Yeah, definitely. Also, with like so many fans that are coming. I mean, yeah. we had last year like I think forty or almost fifty thousand people yeah. like on the race track. Yes, yeah. the point. So that's great. Yeah. If you want to come at the race, come at Brad Hatch. Brad Hatch is. Yeah. Italy was actually also very yeah. nice. It did, it was also really good, yeah. yeah, that's true. Like we also, actually just this year, like we had, I think, almost... Not sold off. Yeah, like sold out, like sold out everywhere. Yeah. And what's actually nice also with this year, it's really... That's why, guys, you have to keep, like, keep up with uh, the content and everything that is coming because it's really exciting, like, also yeah. for the future. Actually now we have the best man that keeps this car like just going perfect on the race, right? Which is our engineer, Roy, the, our team boss. So yeah, so Roy is gonna ask us a few questions about the car because I don't think we are that well in knowing everything about it. So yeah, so Roy is gonna ask a few questions to see if we're out of point. I think we are the one Roy was like sitting here with the phone. That's yeah. because we have the question and not that you think oh yeah, know nothing about the car, just know a little bit how to race before the rest is still on the phone. Exactly. <laughs> we're gonna see if we know a lot of it, but <laughs> we're gonna see. Okay, question one. Yes. Most important, everybody wants to know it. How many horsepower is on? Easy. 400. Yeah, I would also say like 400, 450, something like it. You wish you had 400. <laughs> <laughs> All cars have the same engine, same horsepower, all about 400 horsepower. Question 2. Can you shift without using the clutch? Yes, actually me and you, I don't use the clutch. You, I'm the same boat, no clutch at all. Yeah, okay. yeah. yeah. So you have both options, you can use it or you cannot. Um, we think the fastest way is to how to use the clutch. Yeah. Okay, question 3. Which, one, which car will be faster? DCR. That's easy. I know we are much faster, that's for sure. Much faster. I think it depends a little on the driver, but uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we are faster. Yeah, normally we will we will we will the TCF yeah, faster. With me and you for sure. The rest <laughs> of the <laughs> Okay, question four. What the hell of tires are we racing? Easy. Proceed. <laughs> this one. 
So the cool part is that we have also ring tires done in the US and Kodak is trying to run some yeah, old ones with ring tires. There we have ring tires and they're also from the Question five. How many lug nuts do we dive in wheels? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just one, just one big one. No, there is actually five, right? Yeah. yeah five. Five. Yeah. five. Uh, you can do it also with four when you have a pit stop, right? You can just Yeah, it's just like you get a big penalty. If you would have <laughs> if you would have pit stop, maybe you would find yeah. that, uh, five lug nuts. Question six. How many liters of fuel are we putting in the car before our legs? <laughs> That's a good one. Wow. Wait, I think. Well, hopefully. Could you tell us how much you put in for the qualifying? Yeah, qualifying. Then we have 15 liters. 15? How many laps are we going to do with 15 liters? Uh, okay, then for the race. Like, I think for the race, we like 40. Yeah, 40, 45. Yeah, depending on track, 40 is the absolute minimum. Okay. Some tracks we need uh, around 50, so it is really dependent on what it's expected. Okay. Question 7. How many tires, new tires are you getting for the qualifying and races combined? Third tire. So, two. <laughs> two. <laughs> On the first race, we get four. Yeah, new and season, then, you start with four tires, and then after the race, we can get two new ones. How is it when we like crash and we like we lost one tire? How is yeah, it? Yeah, if you crash and you damage a tire, you can use uh, a pre hatchet tire for the and when we do it in Valencia, like first corner, yeah, then you use a four flat tires, last lap, and get from you. After way. checking from the technical people, and then we get a lot of views. Okay, question eight. What range of tire pressure are we running on the car? I would say between <laughs> 1.6 and 2. I say nothing. I know that tire pressure is like a big key for us. So I think the tire pressure will never go out of the team. Oh, okay. that's. Yeah, that's a correct answer. Yeah. Like, okay, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Question nine. What is the top speed of the Euro National? I think Croatia is the fastest track. I would say in Illinois. I thought over Valencia or Croatia. Yeah, Valencia actually also because it goes really downhill. Yeah. I don't know. 245, 240. Yeah, I think it's 46, 47. Yeah, just <laughs> <laughs> yeah, So it all depends on which track we are, the length of the straights. Um, Croatia is the, the longest straight, so there we have to actually the uh, mm -hmm. It will be somewhere around 250, 245, 250. All right, so Liam, Jill, can you summarize your goals for the 2023 season? Yeah, well, I think, actually, to be honest, I think last year we were already pretty competitive, so I mean, this year, well, we were far too high, actually. Yeah. I think we need to be honest as well. It's always to go like for the championship, that's for sure. And uh, yeah, and also, I think we have a good landing this year for the end of the year the car, so yeah. Right, so, what was your best memory of the 22 season? Well, the decision, I think, the best memory was that we were going to the championship at the end of the season, that's for sure. Good. But uh, no, actually, a lot of it. Like, also, I knew Ben's Hedge, which was my first win, and it was actually a pretty cool win. And no, it was really nice. So, really enjoyed it. so, what did you think it was like competing against Jill in the 22 season? Well, actually, I mean, I know actually Bill already from a bit longer, because he drove also actually against my brother. And uh, yeah, you know, for, I mean, last year we had so many also great fights. I mean, even in Zolder or in Moss. I mean, uh, in Zolder we were like really scrapping each other off, yeah. like to play for the, for the podium for the first place. So, yeah, that was definitely something like that. Alright, Joe, and how about your goals for 2023? I go for the Berlin, I go for the title. And for sure, the title that's like my main goal, and like super close to the main goal is also to win the team championship. But I think that's, that's our job together, so yeah. Really? <laughs> and last season, what was your favorite memory? I think the qualifying uh, in Zolda, I got the pole, that was my first, my first pole position in, in Asuka. And then the other race, yeah, no, I had to struggle a little bit. Yeah. But uh, yeah, it was nice fights, and I was actually super lucky that we got into the safety car um, because it was, it was a little faster. 
Yeah, it's not very technical issues, but uh, by his side. <laughs> so what was it like competing against him last year? I was actually like, at the beginning, like, I, I knew that he was like, new. Like, Alexis well, said, hey, he's young, he would like go all in, and uh, I, would, I would just like play it cool, see what's, what character he is and what, what part of player he is to understand me. And I was like, okay, it's good, I'm going to pass that in my life. He has started to teach me something like this. So I said, okay, that's, that's good. He will not be there. Uh, First race pushing me, and then like second race, just driving, looking to the mirror, I said, like, I'm coming, so, you know, <laughs> oh, no. he's young, he's talented, and I said, like, okay, it's a decent man, so, <laughs> you know, it's going on. That, uh, for that say, he, he rode like next to me, like, for my feeling, I'm like extremely late on race, and I was like, okay, this time you will never get me on the break. I'm like, super late, he tried to come in, and he's just like flying in, and he's breaking, turning this. No way. And then, yeah. And even now, it's all the test. Like, I know that it's like, he's better than me in breaking. In breaking. So make sure that you follow you and Aska, me and uh, Liam on our social media, so Liam Kinsamans and uh, Jelinsta. We are quite active on uh, Instagram and we're going to build up now together the, the, the brand Liam and Jill yeah. and Liam and Aska. Our nice. first race will be 6th and 7th May in Valencia. And, uh, I hope that it's like last year that we have a lot of fans and keep following us. Yes. See you on track. <laughs>